Hi, my name is Mark Belage. I'm president of TorontoEntrepreneurs.ca. Thanks for watching. In a recent survey in the New York Times said of nearly 500 North American companies that more than half of them would still continue with their internship programs this summer. Some companies have pushed back the starting date, others needing more time to think about what they need to do in terms of making a decision, or some just waiting to find out if the lockdowns would end or when they would, when they would end. So here are some tips on how to set up a virtual training program for your employees uh, for an internship uh, or uh, deciding whether to do it or go ahead or not. So first of all, decide what the plan is. There's diff different options, doing it, not doing it, delaying it, and so on. Make a decision based on the pros and cons of what you can understand and go with that. Balance the pros and cons in making that decision. Think about what will happen if you don't go through with it. There could be some repercussions, perhaps some bad goodwill on your organization. Perhaps uh, the other intern may not be able to uh, find another opportunity. So you want to be fair to them too, because they have probably put their lives on hold to, with the plans on being an intern uh, for your organization. As well, factor in how long it is until the internship starts and how much time you think is fair to give them as notice. Definitely think of the goodwill for your organization if you do cancel. Think of how much time you want to give to give notice for the intern so that they can make alternate plans as well. Can, they, can the intern find another similar program or a similar placement if you do cancel the internship? So if you do go ahead with an internship, think of the various areas such as the following. So think about the culture and the team of your team and the organization. How will that be impacted because you have an intern? Think about how you're going to convey changes, policies, programs, and so on. Provide training to your managers and supervisors because they may not be comfortable having a, a, an intern who's not actually within your organization or within the, the confines of your workplace. Keep the intern warm. Communicate with them very frequently. Set up a schedule for when you're going to connect with the intern. It could be twice a day, it could be once in the morning, whatever it is, but make sure to stay in touch with them frequently. Plan for an intern just like you would a full-time person. What are the steps that you do? Maybe some are not applicable because it's virtual, but depending on the situation, you should think about all those steps that you may want to consider when you're bringing somebody in on, on an internship basis. Make sure that the interns have all the tools necessary to complete the work needed. So computers, software, phones, etc. Obviously, most Interns will have the basics like the phone, the computer, but you should also think about desks and chairs. There's some companies during the pandemic time frame that are saying, hey, like we'll give you a credit for buying some furniture because now you have to work from home. So we need you to have some comfortable chairs as opposed to sitting on a, on a dining room chair, for example, all day. You might also want to think about what accounts they might need as well, like Zoom accounts. Uh, or any programs that they might need loaded on their software. If they need a new computer or you're providing them a comp company computer, how are you going to get it to them? Have them watch videos for on YouTube for training. Think about and consider all the logistics and providing the training. What are the limitations that you may have? Is there a time difference? Any computer issues, sourcing, etc. If they can do some of the training in the office or even in advance, while keeping social distancing, that would be great. Perhaps a few days or perhaps a week at a time or perhaps at set times during the month, for example. Plan on staying in touch with the intern frequently if they are working from home, perhaps once a day at the beginning or more frequently. Have social and team meetings on Zoom so that the, the intern can integrate well with the staff and your organization and get a feel for the division. Make sure there's a full training program allowed. Don't shorten the training program just because the person's virtually. In fact, they probably need more training because they're not in the office hearing the terminology and the people that are on the phone and, and discussions that are uh, being had. Make sure that all of the visual technology is available to them. So YouTube, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, etc. There's a lot of technology that's available right now. So make sure that they can benefit from it as much as possible. So in conclusion, interns can be a great source of employees and getting work done, especially during difficult times, make sure that you're uh, available and that you have the resources uh, available as well. And 
ben, use any uh, government programs that might be available to have an intern as well. So again, my name is Mark Belaish. I'm president of torontoentrepreneurs.ca. I want to thank you for watching. Feel free to check out our website at torontoentrepreneurs.ca where you can find out about our upcoming events and connect with us on LinkedIn, connect with me on LinkedIn and connect with torontoentrepreneurs.ca on LinkedIn as well. We're on all the social media platforms as well, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And uh, finally, check out our Toronto Entrepreneurs uh, Conference YouTube page where you can see some of the videos that we posted on different topics over time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and stay safe.